Hey. Goedemiddag. Goedemiddag. Uh, ja, jouw eerste klassieker komt eraan. De laatste training er net gehad, hè. vuurwerk, gezang van de supporters. Het mag volgens mij duidelijk zijn wat je, wat je te doen staat en, en hoe het leeft hier. Nou, of course, it's, uh, it's fantastic to feel the, um, the, the support from, uh, from our supporters. Um, I think we all know that it's, this is a massive game for the whole club and, um, and also for support supporters. So, um, yeah, just like anybody else who loves football, then I, I look forward to this game as well, the rest of the squad as well. Uh, we got a lot of players available, so, um, so we, we're definitely ready for it. Ja, over de spelers die, uh, die beschikbaar zijn. Uh, Ueda en Timber, we zien ze op het, op het trainingsveld. Uh, maar ook de rest van de ploeg. Hoe, uh, kun je specifieker zijn hoe jullie ervoor staan? Ja, yeah, we had, we had uh, what, 24, 25 players on the, on the pitch today. Um, so it's, it's, uh, it's looking more and more positive. Obviously still uh, Jimenez, uh, Q and, and um, Calvin Stengs is, uh, is busy with, uh, with the rehab. Jordan also looks uh, better and better. Lutomba um, had a good session today, but uh, will not make it for, for the game tomorrow. But uh, Weda and, and um, Quinton had uh, positive training. And Newcoop? Hugo also, yeah. And sorry, Newcoop? A uh, Newcoop, yeah, yeah, yeah. He was in full training yesterday and, and, um, and also today. So he's, uh, he's also um, available. Volgens mij drie vragen per. Uh, per yeah. Dan kijk ik even schuin naar ja. Oké. Okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, Jullie krijgen best wel de favoriete rol toebedeeld. Hè? Zeker ook na die wedstrijden vorig seizoen tussen Feyenoord en Ajax. Hoe, hoe kijk je daarnaar? Is, is dat terecht als je ook het huidige Ajax ziet? Wat, wat vind je ervan? Uh, honestly, I, I don't think about it. Uh, it's, I think it's something for, for supporters, something for media to, to build up the game uh, more than it is in, in, in some elements. Uh, who's the favorite or not? Uh, it's, it, it's, it's a difficult game. It's a, it's a big game. It's a massive game. Um, I think we uh, we have the same points in the, in the league as well. Um, so it's 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 a it's a it's a tight game. Uh, obviously, we hope uh, playing here at the Cup uh, in front of our in front of our fans, supporters to to um, to push us uh, can can help us and maybe push some of the margins on on our side. But uh, it's gonna be a, a tough game for sure. But um, Who's the favorite? Uh, yeah, I, I don't really care. Yeah, at the end of the day, I, I care about how we perform, how we play. And also I care about the result at the, at the end of the 90 minutes. Thank you. Gaan we een stukje naar voren? Yes, uh, een momentje, de microfoon komt eraan. Ja, Sinclair, ga je hang. Eén vraagje nog even over Timber. Uh, kan je ons meenemen hoe spannend het eventueel was geweest? Hoe zijn de laatste 48 uur een beetje geweest? Was daar toch nog twijfel? Uh, hebben jullie echt moeten oplappen? Hoe moet ik dat zien? No, I think it's been two good days. We had a good win um, in the weekend. Um, Quinton recovered uh, as expected yesterday, and he's a professional, taking care of his body after the game and also yesterday and, and today as well. But he, he looked he looked really good and um, and is definitely also ready for for the game. We make a portrait of Wang. Um, ben jij verrast hoe snel hij misschien binnen twee maanden? Hij is nu twee maanden al uitgegroeid is tot een sleutelspeler, hoe die een leidersrol heeft. Uh, heeft hij jou verrast? Ja. Het is een van de vragen die ik moeilijk difficult to answer. Of course, I had big expectations to him when he came, because he, we talked about it. Uh, sometimes he's mature. He's, uh, he's a man. He, he tried different uh, things, in, not just in football, but also in life. Um, but I know how hard it is to, to change culture and how hard it is to change uh, environment. Um, you always uh, hope that the players will adapt quick, uh, and also when it comes to 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 Wang, then um, you were hoping that he could do it. Um, none of us were in, in doubt of his qualities football-wise, but uh, also to come into a new team at that time is it's not easy. But um, he, he definitely played at a really high level, uh, and um, also deserves all the credit that you guys are giving uh, to him at the moment. And then it's his job to, to stay humble and, and to stay calm and, and just continue the performances that he's, uh, that he's doing. Um, but he's definitely a pleasure to, to work with, uh, just like a lot of the rest of the boys. Ja, hij is 28. Verbaast het jou niet dat hij nooit eerder is opgepikt door, uh, door grotere clubs en ook Feyenoord? Yeah, again, one of the questions hard to answer. Um, I'm sure a lot of clubs watched him over the years and um, for some reason they decided not to do anything. Um, 
why I don't know. I know Dennis uh, here at Final that he he watched him a lot, uh, also from his time in in, in MLS. So he uh, he definitely knows him and and seen what he's capable of. Um, I'm just happy that we that we have him here. Thank you. Yes, gaan we naar achteren. Ja, yeah. yeah. um, yeah, de klassieke mooie grote wedstrijd, mooie affiche. Um, voordat je hier kwam, was je toen nog bekend met dit fenomeen en. In Denemarken zijn ze er ook bekend met de klassieker in Nederland? Ja, yeah, we we for sure know it's it's a really big game. Uh, it, it's always a little bit harder when you um, when you watch it from the outside and 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 try to follow it. But we know it's a big uh, big game. Obviously, we also had some Danish players both in Ajax uh, before and also here at Feyenoord. So so of course we've been following the the klassieker um, a bit. Um, so we know it's a massive game here in in, uh, in Holland, but also I think in, in Europe in general it, it is a massive game. Um, so we all look forward to it. I definitely look forward to it. Also, I enjoy the derbies as well within the previous clubs I've been uh, to be part of it and and all the emotions, but also the the tension between the the clubs and teams. And then at the end of the day, the the games are are amazing. Yeah, you begin to self over here in Prague, natuurlijk, Sparta and Slavia. Is that vergelijkbaar? Good question. Again, uh, difficult. It's uh, different cultures, different countries, um, different history as well. Um, I expect this one to be a really big one uh, for sure. Stadium here is also a little bit bigger than in, in Prague when we played uh, at Letna. It was around 20,000 people uh, when it was uh, at Eden. Uh, it was maybe around 23 or something like this. So here it's double the size, double the capacity. So. I expect it will be a little bit harder in, in in some some moments, and that's also why you are in football. It's these big games, sold out crowds, and and amazing tension in in everything. Yeah, but can you explain? Where do you see it now? That it's so great, that it's so beloved. Well, I think when when it comes to derbies, you just feel that this is more than just a football game. It's obviously it's still three points. At the end of the day, it's my job and the players' job to make sure that we keep it a football game. We keep the focus on the things that we need to perform on the pitch. We need to stay calm. We need to stay focused, stay in the game. And then what happens around us is uh, is for other people. It's for the supporters. It's for uh, the football world who who loves football and wants to be part of it and wants to experience these these games. Um, but then, as I said, it, it's up to us to keep it on the grass, to stay focused, stay in there, and not get too emotional of uh, of everything. And then you will lose maybe small margins uh, in the game, and you will miss some things that, in the other, end of the day, maybe can cost you uh, a win. Yeah, that was the day. So let's go back. Even that one. Martijn, who? Yeah, I think everyone breaks their head a little bit over how it now came that you. Uit een moeilijke periode naar de interland breken ineens zo goed voetbal uh, spelen. Um, kun jij eens uitleggen hoe je dat dan voor elkaar hebt gekregen, eigenlijk zonder training? Um, I think it's it's a little bit of everything. It's um, it's time that we we had more and more time together. Even though yes, it was an interland and we had some players away, um, but players are getting more comfortable with each other. They're getting more common with each other in the dressing room, in the in the gym, and on the pitch as well. Um, the style of play, hopefully, also getting more and more clear, and, and players understand the agreements that we need to follow, uh, understand the game plan, and, and also yeah, we, we're a little bit further ahead in the, in the competition. So the fitness is also getting better and better, and uh, and then obviously confidence uh, makes the progress a little bit faster, speeds up the, everything. Um, so I think it's been a combination of, of uh, various uh, things. Nou, je hebt natuurlijk vooruitgang, maar je hebt ook dit. Het is natuurlijk heel veel in één keer. Had je dit dan verwacht? Had je dit al kunnen zien aankomen? Well, I, to be honest, I, I don't think that far ahead uh, in, in some elements. I, I think about the present and, and try to work with the team that, that we have available when it comes to this game or the previous ones. Try to stay um, present. Try to stay focused on what I can change now, and not maybe in three months or six months, but really try to uh, to focus on on the daily work. Because um, then I know we will get stronger, we'll get better with uh, with time. But um, there's something I cannot control, and that is time in in football. But I can control the work that I'm putting in. I can control um, how we want to play and and how I want to to help these players uh, to to perform. Because at the end of the day, we have to remember it's it's not about me or or something else. It's about the players. They um, understand how we want to play and how they are supposed to uh, represent each other out there. Laatste dan, um, hoe moet je als trainer nou in hemelsnaam voorbereiden op Ajax? Want dat wisselt gewoon elke week qua samenstelling, qua, zelfs qua speelstijl. Ja, yeah, dat is true. Wat verwacht je? 
Yeah, it's it's of course in that uh, aspect it's it's not easy because they they played uh, different uh, formations also they played uh, different lineups uh, throughout the whole season. Um, but obviously we we try to analyze um, Ajax like like the rest of the opponents that we that we face, try to figure out uh, the formation, the, the lineup, um, the quality of the players. But at the end of the day, try to find out the the style of play of um, of Ajax and. Um, yeah, I'm not saying it's easy, but we have a decent picture of how they want to play. And then at the end of the day, the most important is us. So we, we prepare our boys in how we want to play, how we want to set in the pressure in, in various uh, formations, how we want to build up, how we want to break through. And, and that's where we, we put in the, the effort. Um, that's also why our meetings, when it comes to to post-match, for example, when we spend more time on watching our uh, style of play, our games, uh, and less time on, on opponents. So when we, for example, watch uh, Ajax today, then it's it's less minutes than maybe a post-match meeting from um, from the weekend. Mikos. Ja, trainer, het is nog niet zo lang geleden dat jullie 1-1 speelden tegen NEC. En toen zei je, de puzzelstukjes moeten in elkaar vallen of het moet in elkaar vallen. Uh, de opstelling heb je niet zo gek veel veranderd. Uh, hooguit door blessures en trouwen die terug is gekomen. Maar dus die puzzelstukjes waren er toen al. Je geeft Martijn maar daar wel een antwoord op. Is het dan inderdaad... De tijd, uh, het fysieke gedeelte, het zelfvertrouwen, et cetera, waardoor het in één keer loopt? Um, yeah, and some, some elements, yes. It's, it's the simple explanation. Um, I said also a couple of times I tried to build in some uh, continuity in, in, the, in the team and, and putting in the same uh, players in the lineup to, to give them some confidence, also to give them some belief in each other and also some understanding with each other. The more they're on the pitch together, they hopefully also um, understand each other a little bit better. Um, and I think that's also the result that we're seeing right now. We, we're in a better flow for sure. Uh, the players that we suddenly have to, to sub in, uh, for example, in the weekend with Reed and with Baylor again in the lineup and, and also uh, Julian, then they quickly adapt to it and they perform at a high level. And that is what you, um, what you need to create sometimes. You need to create a team overall uh, every time you, um, you, you want to win football games. But uh, sometimes you maybe have to start with a smaller group in, in some elements and then at the same time try to build and create the team around it. So we, we have a strong team that when we have um, players who are injured, players who maybe don't perform, other players who perform and push from behind, then everybody is uh, is knowing exactly what to do when the games are, are going. And, and that's what why football is, is so complex. It's a, it's a team sport and it's uh, yes, it's, it's not just about the 11 players, it's about... 22, 24, how many players you have in the squad, that's, that's the key. And that's not so easy uh, to build a, a, a new team. Maar had je toen in die fase, dus ik denk vijf weken geleden, het gevoel van, kan er zomaar zijn? Want je zei toen eigenlijk het eerste half uur van je best wel goed. Hè? En dat was ook best wel goed. Alleen toen maakte Belen die fout en was het meteen uh, uh, minder. I think I definitely had a feeling that we, um, we had quality in the squad. Uh, I definitely had a feeling that we uh, were on a good way. Uh, I think I also said it in, in some press conferences. Uh, I see a lot of good moments during the game, but I didn't see 90 minutes or 80 minutes where we are in complete control. Um, that's also why I was really uh, happy with the, with the game against Go Ahead, for example. I was really happy with the performance in, uh, in Benfica. Happy about the performance in, the, in this weekend also against Utrecht. A really mature team in, in more or less uh, 90 minutes. And, and that's what you're looking for as a coach, that your team is consistent and it has a high level. And if you have a low level, then it's just really low, but not too low. Uh, and the high moments, then you can peak them in here and there. Um, but that's, that's what you're looking for. If And when you want to win games multiple times and not just one or two times, but here at final where we have to win every time we, we go on the pitch, then uh, you need um, a strong mindset of the players and you need a strong style of play and everybody knows exactly how to, to do things. And is an uitvloeisel dan van dat zelfvertrouwen wat jullie hebben dat je nog meer die opbouw zoekt? Want tegen Utrecht leek het nog meer dan, dan normaal. Hè? De keeper die, uh, die lokt, uh, dat ziet er anders uit dan in het begin van het seizoen. Yeah, that's, that's confidence for sure. That's confidence and it's also patterns. Practice on the on the field, um, trust from the players that uh, Timo knows exactly if he keeps this ball half a second, one second longer, then an opportunity will open. 
and and in the beginning of the season when you don't have that flow when you maybe don't have that confidence then goalkeeper or, or Bale or David then maybe they go a little bit longer quicker because they they don't have the the courage to wait that half a second or one second that will open up uh, the whole pitch and and I think that's what you saw in in Benfica that uh, Gano for example he he just waited a little bit got the the pressure coming towards him a bit and then last second he uh, he made uh, the right pass and found that free man that was uh, available and and that is a little bit with confidence and uh, understanding of the players also that they know exactly when to uh, to get out of the shadow of the uh, of the pressure okay thank you how do you think the afronding of two three vragen and then Matthijs ik ben toch nog even nieuwsgierig. Want als je dan terugkijkt op die afgelopen weken, hè, waarin de wereld er behoorlijk anders is uitkomen te zien, is er dan één kantelmoment, een kantelpunt aan te wijzen waarop het kwartje die andere kant op ging vallen? This game? Nee, nee, nee. de afgelopen periode. Is er echt één moment aan te wijzen waarop het ineens I don't know, voor jou voor anders yeah. ging? Honestly, I don't know. I, I, I'm not sure I can remember how, much, uh, how many games we already played this, uh, this season and... Um, to find that right moment but uh, as i said I'm, i try not to to look at uh, two small things here and there but but always focus on on the things that that we can control and that we're in control of um i knew yes we we didn't get the wins that we that we wanted there were some some games where we we dropped some points home against the uh, willem 2 uh, away against the uh, groningen leading 2-0 Um, and of course, I, I I hear the noise also around Feyenoord and, and people talking about uh, this and that. And that's what I said a lot of times. It's football. Uh, you need to get away from all that noise. You need to keep the focus on the pitch. You need to keep the focus on the players and, and the staff and, and try to build the team that you believe in and try to build in the philosophy that you want. Um, and then if you work hard enough, if you work strong enough, you will get these key moments maybe on your side. Um, but which one that we maybe had, I, I, I'm not sure. Maybe you guys remember better than me. Um, but um, now I'm, I'm, I'm happy with the, with the flow that we're in. And then I know it, it doesn't stop here. And the result of tomorrow, it doesn't change anything. We still need to improve. We still need to do better. We still want to win a lot of games for the rest of the season. So it's, uh, it's a big game. Uh, but it's also another game in the row of a lot of games coming up, and um, yeah, it, it doesn't change anything in in the progress that we need to make and, and create a team that is getting even better and better.